Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome to Let's Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. And I think you've seen me do this before. I've stretched a piece of 140 pound Bockingford paper, rough, and I'm just going around the sun, just leaving a thin film of water, brushing around the edge to ensure that uh, you do not get any runbacks, because we don't want them today. So that's done. I'm taking my round brush, and this is a mixture of indigo and phthalo blue and I'm just going to put that in here take it round the sun see how good we are at doing circles I think that's close enough plenty on just get it on it will sort itself out I've got the board at a very, very slight angle. Just drop some in around the edge of the sun to make it stand out. This is permanent rose with a touch of phthalo blue and indigo. I'm just going to bring that in here. Just let it mingle, don't worry about it. it come down the top just keep bringing it down all the way down very gently bringing it to the edge this is a stronger mix of the phthalo blue and indigo and we're just going to run this in at the top and we're just going to let this flood have its way don't worry about it what I'm hoping to show you is if you're a first time watercolour painter showing you the strength of colour and get a really good painting out first time around maybe a touch more at the top just keep feeding some in you can do this with a flat brush I'm just doing it with a round brush because it's uh, not used it for a while Some down here. Just helps to unify the painting. Once again, just adding a little bit more. Adding a little bit of the rose colour to it as well. doesn't matter if it mixes, don't worry about that just removing a little bit there it'll all fill in taking your brush along the edge just remove any excess paint always use a damp brush, not a wet one so you're not adding water, you're taking it away ok, I'm going to leave that to dry ok, the paper's uh, dried off a lot and I'm just going to pat in some bushes down here the paper's still damp so this will fuzz out hopefully we'll create some background trees and bushes just pat it in, don't, uh, don't be frightened tree trunks now okay then <clears throat> we can leave that to dry okay it's dried off a lot this and um, we'll just paint this giraffe in and this is a mixture of the indigo phthalo blue uh, with permanent rose 
and some burnt umber. So just paint your giraffe in. Nice and strong, you can see the strength of the paint going in. Down into the legs. Try to do one or two edges. And with some clean water, we'll re wet the bottom part. This is a redder mix of that uh, colour, as you can see. Almost like a violet that I'm just bringing in here. And when you have that like that, <clears throat> go back to your thicker mixture of the indigo, phthalo blue. Permanent rose, unburnt umber, pull your giraffe's legs into it. That will attach it to the ground. tail out change to a rigger brush back to the smaller one back to the dark This is cadmium orange with a touch of very very small touch of permanent of sorry cadmium red. And just paint your sun in. And then just prop your board up slightly. A slightly stronger mix and a little bit on the red shade as you can see and then we'll just add some into the bottom just to give it just a little bit of depth take off any excess and then we're going to leave that to dry. Now that virtually everything's dry, you just take a, a mop brush, just break it open on the palm of your hand, and into some of your phthalo blue indigo with a touch of burnt umber. You can just add some shape to the trees and bushes at the back. And taking your rigger brush, just with a, a thicker mix, you can just run some branches in just let it all mix while it's still wet as you can see trees will appear before your very eyes 
bring in a little on the uh, bottom just to darken it up darkening it up rinse your brush out and just soften this into the ground now comes the best bit this is where you get to sign it mount it and then frame it once it's dried I hope you've enjoyed this little video it's a little quick one and if you want to have a go at something more traditional, I'll put a link in the description box where you can view the full list of videos. Thank you very much for watching.